Hey guys, Christian with Aptuation here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 4 from the May 2013 PUA paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so as per usual, we're going to take a read of the information first. So Fashion Forward is a manufacturer of clothing. For the year ended 31st December 2012, the enterprise produced 4,500 dresses. Okay. The following relates to the manufacturing operations for the period. Some figures are missing. All right, so we're going to take a look at some information here. The first thing I'm seeing up is inventory at 1 Jan 2012. So that's at the start of the year. Raw material, 300 meters of printed material at $19 per meter. Okay, and then we have work in progress at start as well. Okay, no problems. Then what do we have down here? Inventory at 31st December 2012. So that's closing stock or closing inventory because it's at the end of the year. We have raw material, 340 meters of printed material at $24 per meter. So prices went up. And work in progress of 3,790. Okay, not bad. Next, I'm seeing purchase of raw material. We have two sets. 4,519 meters, $19 per meter, sorry, and 2,150 meters at $24 per meter. So we have two sets of purchases. And we also have returns out of raw material, 100 meters at 24 per meter. So from the most recent batch, or the second batch, we sent some back from there. And then finally, for raw materials, we have carriage on raw materials. That's carriage inwards of $3,400. Now let's take a look at the first requirement. So it says, that after calculating missing figures, prepare an account or statement for fashion forward to show the cost of raw materials consumed. So that's worth eight marks. So let's roll back up. <laughs> okay. So let's scroll back up and check out the information that deals with raw materials. So we have all of this stuff going on here. So let's pull up a solution on this side. Now, of course, it might not be a full financial statement, but whatever you are doing, please make sure to head up properly. The name of the entity, the name of the statement, cost of raw materials consumed, state, the word statement is optional, for the year ended December 31st, 2012. So the first thing we are going to put in is the raw material at start. So that's 300 meters of printed material at $19 per meter. So to find the value of the raw materials at start, we're going to have to multiply the quantity 300 meters by the price of $19 per meter. So you see the opening inventory, 300 meters at $19 per meter. That gives us $5,700 worth of material. That's the value of the opening stock. Now, the next thing we need is the purchases of raw material. So we have two batches, 4,500 meters at 19 per meter and 2,150 meters at 24 per meter. So of course, we're going to have to multiply and add. So you're going to see the working. So this is add purchases, 4,500 at 19 and 2,150 at 24. That total is 137,100. The next thing we're going to add to that is the carriage on raw materials. Now it doesn't say carriage in or carriage out, but if it's raw materials, we're buying it. We're not selling raw materials and carriage in is delivery on raw materials. So we have to add that 3,400 up here as well. So we're seeing add carriage inwards 3,400. Okay, so the next thing we have to take a look at is the returns outwards of raw materials. So that's 100 meters at $24 per meter. So of course, to find the value of the returns out, we're going to have to multiply. And we are subtracting the returns out because if you send back goods, you no longer have to pay for them. They no longer form part of your cost structure. And I think the final thing we have to take a look at is the closing inventory, which you can see here is 340 meters at $24 per meter. So again, you simply have to multiply to get the value, which is 8,160. And now we add and subtract going down. We do our arithmetic and we get a total value of cost of raw materials consumed of 135,640. Okay, let's take a look at part B. All right, so part B of the question reads as follows. After calculating missing figures, prepare a cost of direct labor statement for fashion forward to the year ended 31st December 2012. Okay, so we're going to scroll up now and there's one little section here that deals with direct wages. So there are three sets of direct labor cutters and they made 4,500 dresses at $15 each. The stitchers did 4,120 dresses at $12 each and the pressers did 4,000 dresses at $5 each. So much like to find the missing figures for the materials, all we have to do is multiply the quantity by the price. So that's what we're going to do. So of course, please do head up, right? Name of the entity, fashion forward, name of the statement, cost of direct labor statement, and the period to which it applies. 
So the first one was the cutters, that was 4,500 at 15 each. Then we had stitchers, that was 4,120 at 12 each. And then we had the pressers, 4,000 at 5 each. And all we have to do is add those items together. And we have a cost of direct labor of 136,940. Okay, let's take a look at part C now. Okay, so part C reads as follows. Starting with cost of raw materials consumed and direct labor cost calculated in A and B, prepare the manufacturing account for the year ended 31st December 2012. Show all working clearly for eight marks. Okay, so let's pull up part A and we're going to see that the total there for the cost of direct materials consumed was 135,640. The cost of direct labor used was 136,940. And now I'm going to pull up some other information that I didn't show you before in the question, which is actually just under the direct labor information. So we have these items here. We have salary of factory manager, direct expenses, the factory power, clearly the figure um, kind of jumped across here. Nobody, I don't know why. Uh, general factory expenses 1850 and annual depreciation on plant and machinery 16,000. So we're going to use these as well as the work in process items above to finish off our manufacturing account. So the direct expenses of 8,900 that also needs to be included here and be added to the two other costs above to end up a prime cost. Now we have the overhead. So of course the overheads would include basically everything else in this section here other than the direct expenses. So we're going to pull the salary of the factory manager, 38,050, the factory power, the misaligned one of 8,400, general factory expenses, 18,050, an annual depreciation on plant and machinery, 16,000. That gives us a total for overheads of 80,500, which when added to the prime cost gives us total cost of production of 36,000, sorry, 361,980. Now we're going to scroll up and take a look at the work in process inventory balances. So at the start of the year, opening work in progress was 2010. And at the end of the year, closing work in progress was 3,790. So we know what we have to do. We have to add the opening work in process minus the closing work in process. And then that will give us the cost of goods manufactured. And that's basically it for this question. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question four from the May 2013 PUA paper two. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you might find some interesting PUA handouts. Anyway, guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.